So in the last vlog we finally reached Spain and started to work our way down the east coast um, which wasn't easy against the prevailing winds. You and me, we're family The bond that we share is as deep as the sea No matter how rough things may come to be You and me, we're family Sing ho, hey long for the ride by your side, oh, hey, you'll always be all right by me, yes, all right by me. So after a, an epic year of sailing from Spain to Turkey and back again, um, we were ready to park up the boat for winter, so this was to be our last sail of the season. Almiramar is in the Costa del Sol and it's where we wintered last year so we know the place pretty well. In fact the kids went to local school here last year. So after topping the fuel tanks up with diesel, um, we settled in and the kids made themselves right at home. And we met up with some old friends and uh, met up with some new ones as well. So we saw some old faces as well from last year in El Miramar. Put your own. Those of you who follow sailing channels on YouTube might recognize uh, Ryan and Sophie from Ryan and Sophie Sailing. They were heading across the Atlantic, so we met up for a quick breakfast before they left. We were going to join them um, across the Atlantic, but uh, with Renka's health issues and certain things with the boat, and it took us so long to cross west to east in the Med that we decided our weather window was going to be too tight. So one of the things El Miramar is most famous for is its wind. Um, the Straits of Gibraltar is pinched between the south coast of Spain and North Africa and the winds from the North Atlantic kind of squeeze through there and basically channel up the south coast of Spain. In fact, it used to be called the Costa del Viento, which means coast of wind, but I think the tourist board changed it in the 1970s to Costa del Sol because um, they thought it would get more tourism. You know, there's fun to be had in all sorts of weather when you put your mind to it.
I said most weather. We noticed in the distance that the Sierra Nevada mountains had a coating of snow. So our good friends Werner and Evie were going to head up there to take a look. So they asked us if we wanted to tag along. So uh, we jumped at the chance. We're in Spain, but we are going to go up to the Sierra Nevada mountain range to see if we can find some snow. And then we might, we might go sledging or we might just play in the snow. Who knows? Just something nice and wintry. I mean, ski hire was so incredibly cheap. It was 10 euros each um, for, for the ski hire for the day. Um, and we managed to go skiing for the whole family for under 250 euros. We're going skiing in Spain. I'm very excited because I love skiing. We hadn't been skiing since Greece uh, two years ago. I don't know if you remember that vlog, um, where we had a couple of days up in the, in the mountains. Um, so we were a bit rusty, but uh, had a lot of fun. I nearly killed myself. Yeah, he went, we went down this blue slope, but it was a very narrow blue slope. So you and wanted to do it on his own, which is good because that's very brave, but then um, he just went off and we found him and we really thought he'd broken his hand or his wrist. He was okay, he hasn't broken anything, but he was in a lot of shock. On board, we've kind of adopted the philosophy of make, do and mend, which was uh, a, a British slogan in the Second World War when uh, times were hard and materials were hard to come by. So we find it's a great philosophy for being on a boat. Um, however, it doesn't always have the results we want. My Dubarries, which I've had for about 15 years, um, finally the sole looks like it's coming away. So um, I'm trying to repair it with um, super glue just as the last attempt to keep them going a bit longer. Rowan's iPhone 5 has been glitching for a while now um, and I've tried to repair it using some YouTube videos and I think I've actually made it even worse. Uh, doesn't help when you spill tea over everything as well. So now we've arrived in Al Miramar. One of the projects for the winter is to get the boat lifted and um, do some anti-fouling, service the prop and the bow thruster and anything else that needs checking. So we're just checking out what it's like in the boatyard here. Um, it sounds like most people do stay on their boats and um, we've checked out the showers and toilets and they're actually all right. It's quite an organized boatyard, it seems. Uh, there's not a load of rubbish everywhere and um, yeah, everyone's got their space and you're not it doesn't look like you're too close to other boats really so yeah potentially this could be a future home in in march for a, a month possibly if we leave the boat out for that long so looking ahead to the winter months we've got a massive maintenance list which we're going to slowly get through but we're going to put that in another book because there's so much of it i love looking at boats i think it's just there's so many different things that people do and there's so many little unexpected things you find on different boats really random stuff most of the ones here are just all so quirky and different. Something else we're going to have to consider over the winter months is uh, the knock-on effects of uh, some of the YouTube rules. 
Um, you may have heard of COPPA, which is a kind of a child protection policy, which is having quite a detrimental effect on family channels. They're disabling comments, and it's possible that if you don't categorize your videos properly, you could get taken off YouTube altogether. Um, we're going to take the opportunity over winter to revamp the channel a bit and reformat it, probably a bit of redesign, and uh, come out looking uh, all fresh and new in the new year. So it's just a short blog this week. Um, it's not because we're being lazy. We have got lots of footage of uh, the winterization things we did. So we'll put that in another maintenance blog later. And we'll probably do a bit of a highlight of the 2019 season, sailing to Turkey and back again, because um, we've fitted in a lot this year. Thanks for watching. Please share, like, and subscribe. Thanks in particular to the patrons who keep us going through good times and bad. Hit that subscribe button and make sure that you hit the notification button for the exciting content we're going to be releasing over Christmas and into the new year. Travel on to unknown destinies But you and me will still be family Sing ho Hey, long for the ride Oh, hey, I'll stay by your side